Hello, I'm Seek97. Today I'm going to show you how to create a texture pack for Minecraft 1.3.2. So the first thing you want to do is to create a new folder. Uh, so it's new folder, call it whatever. So texture pack. Uh, we have to create this folder so we can drag all the necessary files inside of that so that they don't clutter up our desktop or whatever. So once we create that folder, we can get started in getting the files from the Minecraft game files that can be edited as a texture pack. So with our texture pack folder open, so the one we just created, we need to go to start, run, and type into here, percent app data percent. Click OK, and then go to dot Minecraft, and then go to bin, and then open Minecraft with 7zip WinRAR, I'll be using WinRAR. And then what you want to do is to drag this texture pack folder you created to one side and that 7zip or WinRAR to the other. And you want to drag in these folders and files. So the first, first let's do the photos, folders, sorry, which are achievement, armor, art, environment, font, GUI, item, misc, mob, terrain and title. So basically not com, lang, meta inf, net or postcode. So not those folders, the other ones. So you want to hold control and select all those and drag those into that folder we've created. And now you want to scroll down to the bottom, or first you want to click where it says here type. You want to do it, click type and make sure the arrow is pointing up. Then go to the very bottom and you want to select these three .png files, so pack, particles and terrain. Um, and you want to select pack. So drag that here. Um, basically, obviously the PNGs in these folders hold the textures. The two different files that don't hold textures are pack and pack. Pack.text or the text document is like the description next to it. Pack.png is the image that's next to the texture pack in the texture packs like folder inside Minecraft. And then the name of the texture pack is the name of this folder or what or the name of the file we're going to create in this next step. So once you've edited all these files how you want to, uh, and then you change the description, so my texture pack for a tutorial. So once you've done all that and then you've changed this image um, we can turn this into a texture pack and by and how to do that is by going to make a texture pack and we want to click right click and go new and WinRAR set zip archive and we want to name this uh, let's say texture pack by me and now what you want to do is to open this seven this zip folder you can open it or I find it easier if you open it with 7zip or WinRAR so open that drag that to the side and drag this folder to the side find that folder so texture pack that you had all our textures in let's say we've edited all these so that's got all our files you want to drag all these files and folders into that dot zip so that's our texture pack created so if we go back to this level we can see that we've got texture pack folder which had all our textures in and we moved all those textures and folders into this texture pack dot zip which will be the file slash folder I don't know what you would call it I'll call it a file the file that we drag into Minecraft to install it so to install this texture pack you should if you watch my how to install a texture pack tutorial you'll know but just to quickly do it now go to dot Minecraft so back one step from that bin folder and find the texture packs folder and you might have existing ones so I have SMP revival and then just drag that zip folder into there so if you double click this it will have all our files in so that's our texture pack installed into Minecraft now I'm going to show you that this texture pack is actually being installed and it works so what you want to do is open Minecraft and go to texture pack and as you can see you've got default We've got the SP Reviver had installed anyway, and then we've got our texture pack here, Texture Pack by me, which was the name of it, and then my texture pack for a tutorial, and that was the description. So if we click that, nothing will change, but let's say we did edit it, then once we click that, it would override all the textures with the textures we had in that texture pack. So that's how you make a texture pack for Minecraft 1.3.2.